and welcome back. This is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Blue Terran in the West up against Specs, the Red Zerg in the East. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a long game, uh, but something uh, with a lot of things that I've been talking about earlier in my other commentaries. A lot of lessons to be learned from this game. As we can see, um, nothing too unusual very early on. Um, Neither one of us going for anything too crazy. Uh, we don't see an early pool from Specs. Uh, he is getting uh, overlords and drones like a normal Zerg should do. Uh, no, no, no early spawning pools or anything like that. Meanwhile, I am just getting a supply depot. Uh, this was in the 1.1 patch, so I didn't actually need to get that in order to get the barracks, but it's just something that I always did anyways. I was never a big fan of the early rushes, um, and I would never think of doing that against the Zerg. I don't know if uh, other Terran players would, though. Spex is going to send out an early uh, drone to check out, uh, see what base I am at. I am not at that one. Uh, but there is my barracks going down. And finally his spawning pool going down. It looks like at 15. So a 15 pool. Uh, nothing too uh, fancy here. Looks like he did cancel drones for a second there. That confused me. Um, now my barracks is just finishing and the supply depot going down, but that drone will get in just in time. Orbital command going up and the drone's going to be try to be sneaky and hide behind these smoke vents. Um, that is a play that I have seen in replays before. Uh, meanwhile, he is going for a, a, an expansion there. Uh, what happens is that sometimes they'll put a hatchery here or uh, something like that um, and you know just start going at it from the base there or maybe uh, going for a Nidus canal or something like that nice worm sorry nice canals from the other game but I do send a marine down there to finish the job uh, but that expansion is still going up uh, because that uh, drone came in early I expected a rush uh, so I'm bunkering down when I really should be going out to, to get that hatchery down as soon as possible. Uh, you don't want Zergs to get uh, more base than you do. Um, it is kind of expected from them, but it, uh, <laughs> when they get it up, it can really wreak havoc on this entire game. So I thought about sending the, the SCV out to scout. I really should have. I uh, saw that expansion and went for the rush. But instead, I send them back in to get a second barracks in case of a rush. And so I'm sending my own. Keep the supply depot down because I'm lazy, apparently. Small transfer going down. Uh, nope, we're going to be seeing spine crawlers. He was expecting a counterattack for me, but it will never come. I'm scared of Zerg. They always rush early. So he's throwing me off here by not rushing early. Not even a, a quick four lings out. Uh, he's actually got two queens. No lings coming out and at all. So if I went in, the only thing I would have to contend with would be these that one spine crawler. This one looks like it's going to be positioned for a spine crawler. And these two queens, uh, which are sprouting out creep tumors. So really you know bad scouting my part i uh, could have done some really early harassment i don't know if five uh, marines could have taken out that spine crawler but they would have gotten there before it finished uh, and i believe five marines can take out two queens looking at the income he is smoking me even with uh, my mule out there he is killing me in minerals but i am beating him in gas because i have two uh going up fully saturated uh, he just got his second up, it looks like. So he should be catching up soon. Oh, no. I have no idea what I'm talking about. There's the second one. It's empty. I'm so used to having them on opposite sides. I thought that was the assembly there. I thought it was weirdly placed. So he's just got the one gas going. Um, but he's doing a good job of uh, keeping his material... Uh, 
his income down or uh, well spent. I am not. Uh, looking at the production again, he is finally getting lings out. 18 of them. Wow. Um, so once again, I could have until that point, I probably could have come in and done some major damage with a few marines. Um, but instead he went and bunkered up and finally when he saw I wasn't attacking he went for the masslings uh, How many does he have out? He's got 20 right now with two queens and he's going to be sending them around Checking out the watchtower. Nothing's going on there And I'm getting my first engine. I got my first engineer in bay out gonna go for a second one mm, Not really that smart of a play this early into the game, I do have two f uh, barracks, uh, getting a third, putting down a factory. Um, Starport can't go up until that factory is complete. Uh, that factory will be completely underutilized this game, I'm learning that right now. Looking back at the harvester count, we are back to even, even though... Um, I've only got one base and he's got two. Uh, he's just not fully saturating them as well as he could. Going for those lings instead. Uh, there we go. Just now getting those uh, eggs up. But he's going for more zerglings. So he's already got 32 on the field. 10 more coming out. We're just going to see mass zergling timing attack it looks like. Uh, because it is almost 10 minutes into the game. This is a strange strategy, one that I've never seen before. I'm not sure if he was just uh, slow um, and, or he changed his build later on. Uh, he's continuing to spread the creep tumors, though, so he's doing a good job there. Uh, all the way, even including that ramp, which a lot of Zerg players will forget. Uh, so five uh, Zerglings out scouting, uh, one staying at the watchtower to make sure nobody gets the, that I don't get the uh, high yield there. Um, and do they have stim pack and the first weapon upgrade. Um, so 16, oh, we are seeing banelings. Uh, so a baneling nest did go up and he's warping it, he's changing them here. I'm not sure what the process of changing them is. I'm gonna, I might call them warping or transforming, mutating. I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, but he changed them here to Banelings. That's kind of a strange play. You, they are so much slower than the Zerglings that most players will go right outside the base, uh, do a little quick poke, see what's going on, and then go back down and change it to, Zer to, to Banelings there. Uh, there you can see they're quite slow as compared to the Zerglings that were running around earlier. And bad job on my part. I need guys up here to watch for babies. Instead, I don't get them until they're almost here. And they could they take a couple more steps and blow up. There they do blow up, take out both supply depots, uh, get looks like 400 damage onto that barracks. And we are seeing a follow up attack with Zerglings, uh, with the tra Banelings uh, trailing behind really bad. So I said uh, most people will uh, put the Zerglings all the way to the map, all the way to the opponent's base, uh, check, go back, more from there. Does he learn from that? Uh, we'll see as the game goes along. Evolution Chamber down, uh, getting the... Huh, he's going for the armor first, uh, so that means if uh, you do scout that, that does mean he's going to be heavily invested in banelings. Uh, he doesn't really care about the, the attack <laughs> on the banelings. Uh, the volatile burst is not affected by the upgrade. Uh, but there... Oh, I do get all the banelings before they are able uh, to make any impact. Certainly he's finally coming around. And no, they they do back out. And this is a bad move on my part. These Marines had the right idea. Go out there and finish the job. They're going to go out there and morph into Banelings. So he is changing his tactic uh, for the better here. And I am not improving instead. But I have three barracks down. And once again, that factory not getting anything. Uh, mech is great against Zerg, Zergs, especially against the Banelings.